Hello. All right. Back again for another week. It's going to be a very exciting week on twitch.tv. Oh, and Jake hits me with the, the game request immediately. Love it. Thanks, Jake. I will be happy to accept this. Um, yes, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big week on this channel. Um, hey, Mitch. Hey, Jeremy. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Let's accept Jake's request, which I have to admit that that is some seriously uh, timely game requesting there. Hey, Salem. Nice to see you too. So yeah, once uh, once you get some more people, I'll run through what you guys can expect on this Twitch channel this week. But there is a lot. This is going to be the most activity that uh, is coming to the channel since its inception. So, um, and that's saying a lot. The Crescent City Cup was an amazing event, of course. Um, and uh you know this is oh there we go <laughs> i forgot to test this um but there is a lot of great content coming i'm just gonna tease it you can see some of it in the uh in the channel sorry the stream description so the frontier and csc exclamation point commands will help get you some more info but i will let you guys know all of that we get a few more people just so I don't have to repeat myself too much. Um, okay, it looks like Jake exchanged. This is a pretty gross, <laughs> this is a pretty gross uh, set of letters here for sure. I think, um, you know, in general, any of the B, the P, and the V prefer to be the star of the show on the rack. They don't like sharing the spotlight, these high scoring letters. So when you have a bunch of them together, it starts to become a little bit unwieldy. There's not a lot of words containing this combination. In fact, I wonder if, what is the shortest word containing PVB, proverb? Is there a, is there a six letter word containing these three letters? Even one? I, I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm I can't think of it. Hey blue skies, how are you? So unfortunately I am not going to have an easy time getting rid of too many of these letters, but I think just something like this is <laughs> about as good as I can do. It doesn't really offer much. It keeps the really weak BP combination together, but it's better if it would be better better than keeping the V along with it, so uh, I guess it makes a decent place for my P to go next turn. This is It's not a very inspiring play, but we'll just go for it to start. Hey, Chess Bunzo, how are you? So we'll be here. Ah, man, this is like, uh, it's been a, it's been a busy, it's been a busy few days. So a busy couple weeks, in fact, just trying to prepare for the other stuff that's coming to this channel. Um, so basically, I'll, I'll be plugging this a few more times just to make sure that everybody that stops by is seeing this, but I actually have, I have a couple, a couple little screens here. So basically what's happening is we're here, it's Tuesday, I'm in my normal spot. I believe it's not confirmed yet, Maybe Axer Typo will stop by to confirm this, but I believe that Axer Typo's normal Thursday broadcast is going to be moved to Wednesday. So you may be seeing Josh here tomorrow. Either way, I'm pretty sure that's true, but either way, on Thursday, we have at last the Frontier College Scrabble for Literacy final round. So we have our two finalists. I met with them just this morning to get them prepped and ready to play their final match. And they are going to play alongside uh, Colin Mockery and Deborah McGrath, two uh, comedians who I certainly, uh, I did this event with them last year and they are hysterical. They are so funny. You may know Colin from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Deborah's been in a bunch of stuff as well, like Baroness Von Sketch, which is hilarious. So basically, um, 
This is coming at you guys at roughly, it is a little bit, oops, it is a little bit dependent. Oh, what did I do here? I messed up my whole screen. Oh, that didn't help it. Let me just try one more time. How did I do this? Okay, well, we'll play it on the full screen then. Um, so basically, uh, it's going to be a three on three match where our two finalists, uh, who won entry into the finals by scoring the two highest scores of any game in the week prior where all of the do the donors to the event for Scrabble for literacy were paired up on Scrabble go. They played a bunch of games in groups and uh, the two top scorers will make it into the finals playing alongside Colin and Deborah, as well as Josh and Chloe. So one celebrity per team, one Scrabble ringer per team. It should be a lot of fun. The comedians are hysterical. Like I said, it's hilarious to have them alongside the Scrabble experts. So really looking forward to that on Thursday night. And uh, it's for a very, very good cause. I should put the link um to i think it's what is it it's scrabble for scrabble for literacy.ca let's see what happens if i if i type this if this is an actual link scrabble for literacy.ca is that active okay never mind what is the link hold on let me get it from here Oh, well, it seems that seems to be it. So anyway, um, it, ought, it when I click that, it doesn't work, but it redirects to this. So I should have that bookmarked. I'll just keep it um, copied. Okay, what's happening here? Chum is Jake's play. I have a P. So chump looks like something I'm going to want to use. I drew a W, so that's not ideal. Oh, we have to get our define bot up as well. Uh, let's see. It was set to my own channel, so we're going to have it go to Scrabble. This way, if anybody, inevitably, I would be stunned to make it through a full stream on here without somebody wanting to query one of these words, of course. So how am I supposed to do this? Play paw, bap, paw? I'm leaning towards paw. Wait, why is it not letting me type here? Okay, I have to refresh the window here. Wow, chump! It doesn't want you to play. Ch it doesn't want you to say chump. That seems. Oh wait, that might have uh, reset the game window too. There we go. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So the reason that I'm tempted to play paw here is just because it scores pretty well, and I set up an N hook for myself. However. This is very likely to be Jake's next spot, so I don't really imagine that. Uh, I don't imagine this will stay available, but I guess I could just pop this on too. Oh wait, that's oh it's only good with UA in uh, in English US. Okay, let's play this. Let's not waste too much time. Ooh, okay. Unfortunately for me, there's definitely bingo. Oh, okay. Very quickly, Jake plays Denary E. That is a very nice play. Definitely um, a word that's going to look strange to you if you haven't uh, been familiar with studying the dictionary or any of those techniques that we use. But uh, these letters are super common. So this is a word where the plural of denarius, the Roman coin, I believe. Um, that's a word that's not in most people's common usage, but it's really useful in Scrabble. Nice play by Jake here. So now what? Now what do I do? Um, so I was hoping I was hoping for an E or so, or a, a U for enabling or unbailing, but I was I was aware that uh, that was very unlikely to come up. Oh, and Chad Chesbunzo also noting that pawn has appeared on the board. How often do you see a pawn on a Scrabble board? 
Of course, when you define it, it's always going to, in Scrabble, the definition that's shown will always be the word with more inflections just because it covers more possible usages of the word. So you're not seeing the chess piece be defined. Instead, you're, um, you're seeing the, the verbiage. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's the ads. Okay, when the ads disappear, it throws the whole game screen out of whack. That's what's happening. Never thought I would be so sad to see ads disappear from my screen. Um, what do I mean by inflections? Yeah, that's a good, uh, I'll play bling. Ooh, I didn't draw so well. Um, I just mean, so, you know, English is an inflected language. So like what I mean by inflections are just different um, forms of the word. Maybe that's a misusage of that word. I'm not sure if I'm misusing the word inflection, but I think I think I'm not. That you know, for pawn as a verb, that's going to encompass more overall inflections than pawn as a noun. So pawn pawns, that's it for pawn as a noun. Pawn pawns, pawned pawning, a bunch of different uh, inflections involved with pawn as a verb. So. Um, if I'm misusing that word and I should be thinking of some other word, um, yeah, definitely uh, need to think about that. Maybe I'm. It's, there's a s semantics error for me. Hey, Scrab Bub, nice to see you. I'm doing okay. I've been a little busy. So again, um, as I as I showed you guys. So we have on Thursday, we have our Scrabble for Literacy finals here on this channel. Lots of star-studded guests, $76,000 raised, I might add. And then on Friday, the very next day, we have the Canadian Scrabble Classic coming to twitch.tv slash Scrabble. Um, still working out some of the details. It is... Um, I am scheduled to be competing in this event. So for the first time in a long, long time, over two years, I'm going to be playing an over the board tournament and there's gonna be live coverage of it starting on Friday night throughout the weekend here. So uh, let me see what I wrote hastily on here before the stream. So we have lots of stuff coming to this channel in over the course of the week. So again, it's me today, probably Josh in his normal spot tomorrow, Frontier College, Scrabble for Literacy on Thursday night, and more live Scrabble coverage, over the board coverage all weekend coming to this channel Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So uh, we've almost got a seven day slate of content. I'm very excited. It's been a fair, a fair amount of work going into some of these things. Uh, so I'm really, really hopeful that we can turn out, get a nice audience. I'm going to do my best to promote as much as I can. As you can see, Jake plays Phi. That's kind of lucky for me. That could have been much worse uh, down at the bottom of the board here. With all of these vowels, I think it's pretty uncontroversial that I should play something like this through the D. This uses four vowels, keeps my lone consonant. I think I'm going to go ahead and make this play. So I'm trailing Jake by still a reasonable margin. If he hits me with a pretty solid play on his next turn, that's going to be bad news because I'm not in great position to respond here with my J and three O's. This is definitely the clear and present problem with this rack. Um, let's just see what happens when I reload this. Uh, okay, there we go. So with the with the aid of this advertisement, I think we can. Hopefully, I continue to see these ads so that my game screen is formatted correctly here. All right, and we have a special guest here as well. It's this little guy who really, really wants to hang out. He has been wanting to hang out in this precise spot for most of the last few streams. So I don't know whether we need to create a lap for him to sit on or what, but um, okay. Um, yeah, why don't we do that for you, buddy? If we could get you to sit on my lap, that would be amazing. Um, 
So yeah, I'm very hopeful. I think I'm gonna try to pull out all the stops to get a nice big audience for some of these uh, upcoming events on Twitch. Um, you know, it's hard. It's hard not to. It's hard not to look at uh, the chess twitch.tv slash chess and see the you know six hundred or eight hundred thousand followers that they have and not say like. That could be us too, right? Why not, right? Why can't we get there too? Come here. And does Danny does Danny wrench uh, you know play with his cat during those broadcasts? I think not. So we're already ahead of the game in that sense. Yeah, come on. Yes, you sweetie. Yeah, let's come sit. Okay. So I I have this issue here with my O's. I don't really feel like I have a good play with the J that goes down from the triple in the top right. There is a Collins word of R-E-J-O-N, Rejon. Not an option for me here. So I'm going to have to come up with something else. I don't really see what to do other than something like this, which this scores 31, which I like. On the other hand, it keeps it uses my E and leaves two O's. I'm not really sure I have a great way around this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and hope for some help. Okay, I mean, I drew E's, that's nice. But again, these, these are kind of weird, unappealing racks here. So we're going to have to keep fighting. I don't think I have anything through the C or V. If an S were to come out into space, I would... Uh, I would consider playing, I would have loosener if an S were somehow out in space, but if we were to see an S come out in space, that would probably be very bad news for me because it would mean Jake is very likely to have a bingo there. So, um, okay, that makes a lot more sense to use the S in that way. So that's a very nice play, 48 points. Um, interesting comment here by Scrabbub. Uh, wondering what you think of a strategy by Joel Wapnick. So Joel Wapnick, definitely one of the stronger Scrabble players out there, a former world champion, Canadian champion, national champion. Um, and still, I mean, those, some of those accolades were from, uh, you know, years past, but still one of the stronger players on the scene, despite being, has to be in his seventies or even eighties. Um, playing off tiles to maximize the chance of drawing S's, blanks, and power tiles. That is, uh, you know, I, I'm using so much time in this game that I really, I need to, let's see if I can delve into that after making my next move, because that is a great question. A lot to discuss and break down there. I'm going to play Nolo here just because... I don't really see anything better. It he uses up this triple and gets my O's off. I don't know if that's a great play. So Scrabbub, that used to be the prevailing wisdom in Scrabble. That uh, that is a um oh okay yes. So Chess Bunzo is uh, making a qualification to that. So it was the prevailing wisdom. And you can easily understand why this would be the case, that drawing the S's and the blanks were an incredibly strong predictor of winning a game of Scrabble, right? Those are the best tiles. And if a good player gets their hands on those tiles, they're going to increase their odds of winning the game. The thing that the this idea, which is commonly known as turnover, right? Tile turnover. So the idea is... When in doubt, you should play more tiles so you can get your hands on the good ones faster. So the thing that that overlooks is that, yeah, it's definitely a very strong correlation to drawing the S's and blanks to winning the game, but that's not the only way to increase your winning chances of winning a game. An even better way to increase your winning chances is to make plays that, as Chess Bunzo alludes to, that keep really, really strong leaves, even if they don't contain an S or a blank, in the hopes of maximizing your chances of bingoing immediately. So when you play five or six tiles off, you may increase your chances of drawing the S or the blank, but you also increase your chances of drawing the weaker letters in the set as well. It's not just an unmitigated good thing to draw the S or the blank. You could draw S, W, W, V, V, 
right? If you draw five tiles. So ignoring the relative strength of other letters on your rack and just going for the longest word you see that makes any sense to you to play, you are you may draw those good tiles more often, but you also are going to bingo less often on those interstitial turns where you don't draw those letters or even when you do and draw them with unappealing combinations. So that general thinking uh, the, the idea of tile turnover is definitely still critically important at times in a Scrabble game, but it starts to become more and more and more important later on in the game when you have a much better understanding of the tile bag, right? So when you can look at the tile bag, as I can now, right, I see three S's and two blanks. Now it's starting to feel to me like every subsequent tile that I can play after the first has an increasingly significant chance of materializing into something very good. So um, that's so from the very outset of the game, tile turnover not as important because all the crappy tiles are still there to foul up your rack along with the good ones. Later on, that calculus can change, and that is why the tile bag is such a critical tool to pay attention to. It helps you understand how good is turnover here, really, in this situation. Okay, so I don't have a ton of time. Hopefully that was a good answer. Uh, Daniel says, is it hard to keep those different dictionaries in your head? I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's something that I... Uh, I wouldn't say relish, <laughs> but it's something that I seem to have some level of aptitude to be able to do. Um, so I'm very tempted to just play my X here. Uh, I think I'm going to play my T as well because it gives me five more points and there are all five T's remaining. This leave of E-E-E-R-R -R is very weak, but for 39 points, I'm going to stomach it. Um, so basically this is a pretty close game. I don't have the S's or the blanks. I would much have, I would much prefer to have used more letters. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> a blank comes down and I'm in some serious trouble here. Um, I'm going to have to, let's see, this is tough because I don't think I have anything great from this. I mean, I could play this if I want. Whatever I play here, I really want to make sure that I have more space in the future to continue making a comeback, because I'm in, I'm in pretty serious trouble here. So normally I would consider something like raw, but this is very you know closed for the, to the board. It also keeps too many vowels as well. So I'll go ahead and play this and just hope to draw something, not quite yet. I'm very, very badly in need of a bingo here, so we'll just have to continue to, oh, maybe, oh, this was a better play. W-H, I had W-H-E-A-L right here. That would have been a better play. Uh, I didn't see that spot until after. That would have scored really well and left all of these lanes still pretty open, so I, I missed a play there, but that's all right. Um, this may, this game may, oh, I also missed that if I find a, a word ending in A, a six letter word ending in A would be a really cool play to get down from the top of the board. Um, yeah, that, that question about tile turnover is so interesting just because, you know, Scrabble has, Scrabble has this, um, this feel of, to me anyway, I definitely believe that any of the gains that we can make from here on out, kind of coming up with these new paradigms of how to think about the game, I think that those improvements are going to be relatively marginal. I don't really see anybody coming along with a totally new way to play Scrabble that revolutionizes the game completely. And the reason I say that is that you can come you can go really far in this game just by knowing the dictionary very well and understanding some basic principles of play finding leave values those sorts of things there may be some new frontier and if i had to guess 
I would say it's going to revolve around inference. It's going to revolve around this kind of untapped ability to look at to to look at your opponent's play and to get a better understanding of the letters that they left over and use the and use that to guide your play in the future. I think that that's an area that is extremely difficult, but the level of skill that players exhibit in any game tends to rise, not necessarily linearly, but over time it goes up. And I think that's definitely an area that uh, has room for serious improvement and could be super, super actionable too. All right, this is, this is a grim scenario, so we're just going to do this. Oh, look at that. Uh, that's kind of nice, but um, I'm not sure if I have a way to play this anywhere. I don't think Barry, this is not, this is a Collins word, so I can't play this. Brazier doesn't look like it fits anywhere. Brazier. I think I think this I think this is not brazier as in the garment. I think this is like a an urn that you burn stuff in or something like that. Um, I'm not sure. Lola, hey Lola, nice to see you. Lola says, if I know anything, it's that we've always thought we had it all figured out. Yes, no, I think um, I am absolutely aware that like uh, I don't I don't feel like I have Scrabble figured out. Um, I feel like among top players, I have the most <laughs> willingness to admit that uh, there's a lot that I have left to learn. Um, I don't want to say that I, I don't want to characterize that necessarily as humility. I just feel like it's more a function of my skill set as a player being primarily focused on word knowledge. So I always feel like the thing that I have most to learn is the strategic and game theoretic aspects of the game. Um, so I'm fighting my way back here. I'm not sure if it's, is this gonna be allowed? Yeah, unfortunately not. So I'm gonna need to come up with some other way of actually getting a bingo. It's gonna be hard to fit one here. There's not a lot of time either. Z, Q, S, S. Um, I guess I could get lucky and end something with a T or a C. But other than that, I'm going to have to make it. Oh, well, now it's really tough. Um, maybe I should just fish for, like, digestif or something. This is going to be bad news. All right, I see it. It messed up. Um, what to do here? Uh, hey, Dustin. Hey, Transman. Nice to see you guys. Three tiles in the bag. Is it worth me doing this? I mean, this gets me pretty close on the scoreboard, actually. This, this is going to get me pretty close. And if Jake has weak letters and if I draw the Z, I might be able to outscore him here, which maybe that's more realistic. Okay, I didn't draw the Z. Um, do I have... Anything through this G. It looks like I might. I kind of feel like on like ondogeny. That's not a word, unfortunately. <laughs> Endogeny. On um, like this looks like it's kind of word like, but I don't think it's in there. All right, I'm a little worried. I think the Z in Jake's hands is probably gonna be the the end of things for me in this game. Um but yeah, I am. I think that that inference and learning how to harness it is definitely going to be, to me, that's an untapped frontier. Another untapped frontier is just in general. This is related to inference, but some of the some of the drawbacks of the tools that we currently use. Oop. Okay, so grid is the play. He has a Z, but he might have just drawn it out of the bag. So if I had a little more time, I might be able to come up with something here. I don't think I have, I don't think I have great options here, and my clock is definitely ticking down into a bad scenario. Um, is there some? No, I don't think so. Uh, 
Yeah, there's not really enough time for me to puzzle this out, unfortunately. So with with the loss of that time, that's definitely going to do it for me in this game. So, But I think my odds were not very good, even if I had time to think. I'm pretty sure I was headed towards a loss here. Um, might have missed something. I guess I'm, if I play Yodel. Where do I go out with N-O-N? -N? I guess Noni here. Well, we're going to have to deal with that. We'll have to deal with that next turn. Um, so, uh, Transmit said, oop, just reminded me I forgot to practice. The site was brand new, which was probably part of the problem. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, this is, it's to many players, certainly players that are coming from the mobile app first and foremost, it's definitely, this is an adjustment for sure to be playing on a site like this. Um, for many Scrabble players, this is the type of site where you know they cut their teeth. So the Internet Scrabble Club, ISC, that's one that I played on for years and years. And obviously we have Woggles.io, which is a very, very excellent site as well. Um, the hope is that we grow into you know just as good of a site as those. Still lots of functionality that we're hoping to build. I think the best thing that you can say um, for what we're hoping to build here is that we want it to sort of be the the hub for all things Scrabble. And, you know, the word Scrabble is, oh, and Jake goes over time too. So Jake just took a 10-point penalty. So I think it's a big, it's a wide world of word games out there for sure. Um, and for those that sort of have been playing on uh, on mobile for quite some time, Playing a game with a timer is a huge adjustment, right? Playing with a clock that's ticking, playing a full game in one sitting. I think those are things that for a lot of us represent a huge change. Wow, look at that. So that may have been to block Khan, but it looks like I end up winning the game anyway because there was no good Z play for Jake. Oh, that's really surprising. Um... So that was lucky, I think. I could have potentially, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jake, that was a great game. Um, so, uh, I mean, that came right down to the wire. I guess it looks like from the score that I still, I still would have won had you not taken the time penalty. So that that's some consolation. But yeah, this sequence of Yodel and Noni, the nice thing about it is I also had C-O-N-N -N as a second outplay. Um, so that's really fortunate. Um, let me just see. Let me refresh. I saw the challenge from Scrabbub, which I'll be very happy to face off um, with him in just a moment. So yeah, I just wanted to, let me just see. There we go. So I had, with my O-N-N, -N, I had an outplay here and here. So it was kind of lucky that you really didn't have a great Z play with all those consonants that I saw. I was looking around and saying, boy, what what can he even do? Um, so, all right, good game, Jake. That came right down to the wire. I really thought you, you had me there for sure. So next time, next time. All right, it's on to Scrabbub, who is um, just oh, what have I done? Oh, the ad, the ad again. So I need to change something about my setup here. Uh, same to you. Um, that lets me stay on the stay on that screen, but um, that's okay. For now, it should be fine. Let me see what happens when I draw here. Does that actually fit? Yeah, it does. What happens if I go here? I like being able to telestrate on the board if I'm struggling, if I'm struggling to explain a concept. <laughs> it's helpful for me to to have this here so that you guys can see what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, I get an ad blocker. It's a good point. I think some somebody, some of you guys recommended it to me. Um, yes. Hey, Jellamocas, how are you? Um, 
Uh, oh, okay. Didn't want to miss this comment from Saint K. It says, I still have the old app on my phone. How new is the site? So it depends on where you're from. In general, this site has been out and uh, playable as a beta in the US and Canada for a couple of months. Only recently, maybe a week or so, has the site been available worldwide. So if you're coming from Europe, you know, United Kingdom, uh, anywhere in you know Southeast Asia, Africa, Australia, anyone from those uh, locations is now able to play, and it's and they've been able to play for about a week. So it is a very new site for sure. Um, this is a new entry. Uh, so okay, cool in the U.S. Awesome, yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's uh, at some point in the near future, uh, it's my hope that I make lots of videos on the Scrabble Go page, and I think it's come time to do some sort of tutorials for how to do some of the basic um, activities on this site. And we have a lot of stuff that's like in coming soon status. <laughs> Stream Elden Ring and said... Yeah, I mean, if I haven't looked, I'm just going to say off the top of my head, if I had to guess that the Elden Ring category probably has like 300,000 viewers right now on Twitch. And uh, by all accounts, Elden Ring is absolutely killing it. But let me say this, right? Elden Ring, super popular, revolutionizing, uh, you know, the, you know, the Twitch meta right now. Everybody is playing Elden Ring. But in five years, Elden Ring will not be getting played that much. And in 10 years, probably nobody will ever be playing Elden Ring seriously except for people wanting to stroll down memory lane. And when that happens, Scrabble will still be here waiting for you all with open arms. Um, so, all right, let's see. Do I want to play Bogey? Do I want to play Pog? What do you guys think? When will Pog? When will Pog enter the dictionary? So this is a really common phony. I'm going to call this right now. This is not a valid word. I would love to play this. Well, probably bogey is a better play than this anyway. But there are a lot of situations where you would want to play this. But it's actually the plural of a four-letter word, P-O-G-Y. Maybe I should play P Poggies here because it's so Twitch-like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to play Bogey because that feels like the best play. Okay, this looks like a pretty good... This is a pretty good set of letters here. Um, I wonder... So I know there are some bingos. There's definitely some eight-letter words here. Is there... This doesn't quite, this isn't quite worth playing. If it hit both doubles, it would be better. Uh, this is a word, but it's an adjective. So I'm not 100% sure. Do I have something to the O or the I here? I don't think so. I don't believe so. Um, so yeah, poggers, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to assume that I'm going to make a prediction right now that Pog is going to be two updates away. I think the next update to the Scrabble dictionary will not contain the word Pog, and the one after that will. That's my prediction. You heard it here first. When will Pog come to the Scrabble dictionary? I would say at this rate, it'll be something like 2026. Um, that's my prediction. Hey, Dustin, by the way, not sure if I said hello. Elden Ring isn't quite as wholesome as Scrabble. Well, uh, yeah, from what I've seen, there's, there's certainly a fair amount of killing. There's a fair amount of hacking and slashing. There are demons and monsters and that sort of thing. <laughs> we do have Pago. That's true. I think most of us would recognize that word as pogo, but of course, pogo, if you're particularly Twitch addled, maybe you would see P-O-G-O -O and think pogo. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so Dustin, I do have news for you. I do have news for you on that. Azerdi is in Collins. Qwerty is in uh, North American. Azerdi is in UK. The others are in nothing, unfortunately. Hello, 14 Domino says, still all about Breath of the Wild. Yes. Um, is that a re... I mean, yeah, I'm I'm too much of a boomer now to be in the loop on... Video. At least I knew what Elden Ring was. But is Breath of the Wild being re-released? I feel like I remember Breath of the Wild when it came out. What what is what is that? Help me help me understand. Um, a sequel? Oh man! Oh okay, so a totally new game. Yeah, that's. I mean, all the Zelda games are incredible. Um, with I don't think really any exception uh, that I can think of. I think for some reason I was telling the story about oh man which which one did I did I play Breath of the Wild let me let me just what game did I play which game has Fun Fun Island on it Skyward Sword okay it was Skyward Sword so I remember being taught how to play this skydiving game called Fun Fun Island in a Zelda game where you just fly down from the sky and get all these rupees. And if you hit the exact right spot of the bullseye at the bottom, you just get so much money. And I remember doing this like habitually uh, to become so rich in the game. And it was so fun. It was like my favorite part of the game. Um, that's the last Zelda game that I played, which is a long time ago. Um, and the other story that I told from that is, um, you know, the, uh, when I was trying to slash a guy with my Wiimote and I didn't realize that I had to change the angle. So instead of slashing like this, I had to just slash, I had to slash like this. Um, and I didn't realize that I thought it was picking up on my speed and my strength so I'm hacking and the guy, this guy, this turtle guy is blocking all my moves and I'm hacking harder and harder because I feel like my problem is I'm not swinging the Wiimote hard enough and I I came an inch away. Oh man, look at that. That's just what I needed. Okay, very good. That was really lucky. That was the, the, the letter that I needed. Um, and uh, this is a pretty bad definition. <laughs> <laughs> one produced or reproducing by apomixis that's not that helpful to understand what is an apomict um but either way that was uh mana from heaven that a there um jake says i uh yeah uh, do i love or appreciate chrono trigger absolutely one of my favorite games ever very formative um Formative uh, experience for me playing Chrono Trigger, one of the best games that I've ever seen, and I know I'm not alone with that one. Um, why does the Scrabble Dictionary have so many circular, circular definitions? I don't know. And somewhere around here, I have the physical one, and I'm just curious. Yeah, keeping it concise is definitely one. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of definitions are like this, even in the dictionary, where they sort of refer you to another word, just knowing that you can sort of flip the page and find that word nearby. But that's not really the case when you're defining it in this in this manner. So um, definitely a pain point is to improve some of these definitions for sure. Exactly. Um, hold on. Lots of good comments here. Um, yeah, no, we'd love to have a million hours to dump into video games. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the weird thing was like, I have always kept up with like, I'm, I've always been at least casually into some level of gaming. This is the first time in a long time that I have not had a next generation console for any period of time. Normally, I get something. Usually the last few I've gotten PlayStations not long after the next one is released. I still don't have 
I still don't have a PlayStation 5, and I, maybe Elden Ring is what gets me to get one, but my a lot of my entertainment habits are totally different Like now. After the onset of the pandemic, um, just I just feel like I, I haven't played as much fantasy sports. I used to play fantasy sports, huge into fantasy, baseball and basketball, a little bit football just to keep up with friends. I don't do that very much anymore. Um, and uh, a lot of my video game playing has just become Scrabble. <laughs> so uh, I don't know exactly what happened there to cause that. I think a lot of it was like becoming this Twitch Scrabble zealot and pouring, pouring as many hours as possible into that. Um, so uh, I have a weird rack here. I have kind of double eyes and a U. I don't know how I'm supposed to score particularly well. This is a this is a decent way to score, I guess. Do I really not have a a good like something here? Nothing that gets the K here. I don't know. Um, I'm not seeing anything that makes me super happy and I don't love keeping a U here. But it scores 30 points. That's fine, I guess. Okay, so we drew we drew another U. Oh man, this looks like this looks close to some some stuff. So far, it looks very close to a bunch of different things, but I don't think I actually drew anything with this. Um Transman says, I don't have the split second timing to be able to switch back and forth without it costing me time. Um, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, um, oh, oh, you're referring to watching on Twitch and playing on the site itself. Yeah, that's definitely going to be sensory overload. If you wanted to play a game, we definitely could do that. And I would advise that you just mute you could mute the the tab or just you know mute my volume and don't even think about don't even worry about the actual streaming part and just enjoy the game and focus on the game that might be a way to alleviate that issue but i totally hear you like there's just too much going on trying to focus on the game also listening to me so i i get it i totally get that all right nice play by scrab up scores 40 with his j Right there, I have my two Fs. That's very, the twitchy word, or the twitchiest letter, the F. I also have two Us. Uh, I mean, this is a kind of a, the reason that this play looks decent is because I'd be setting up a spot for my place with the S going down on the next turn. If I don't get a bingo somewhere else, I should get a nice six letter play here. So that would be nice. Um, I guess I could play something like this here, just because the F actually duplicates decently well. It's never that good to keep duplicated letters, but an F actually has a ton of a ton of um, uh, words make two Fs. I guess I could do this. No, that's not good. I have to use a U here. So it's not, I don't think it's a must that I use an F here. It is a must that I use a U here. Ideally two U's. Got to get those U's off. If I draw the K, then you just say, oh, well, that's unfortunate. So I guess for me, is it do I play Kuru for 24 or Duff for 19? Pretty close. Maybe I'm missing some other option entirely. Let me just think. Yeah, see that keeps two U's. We can't do that. Um, looking around, looking around. That doesn't, I can't really do much with this. Okay, um, I guess I'll play Duff just because the U, as uninspiring as the U is, if I surround it with other good bingo tiles, I might end up being able to bingo with bogeys here. So, um, I 
I don't feel I don't feel very strong conviction in this play, but we're just gonna do it. Okay. We move on. Um, might have missed something. Some other option might be better. Um, but uh, <laughs> physical, yeah. Patchy says physical books in twenty twenty two. Yeah, I think that's another thing. Like another thing. So things that I have formerly done a lot of that I do less of since the onset of the pandemic. Fantasy sports, completely gone. Video gaming, I do the tiniest, tiniest little amount with friends on my PlayStation 4. Um, and that's basically it. Reading books. Um, reading books is something that I have continued to try to do. I go through periods of like reading a ton. Um, and then it, it comes and goes. My wife is just like just incredibly devoted to she reads so much more than i do um but there's just that's definitely one thing that has held relatively steady for me in pandemic time um but a lot of a lot of my entertainment consumption habit tv tv and movies very very little almost none at all jake says if i wrote you scrabble inspired background music would you use it on the scrabble go channel uh, so do you mean this channel or like, I think something I'm always on the lookout for is uh, background music that I can use on the videos that I make for social media for, so on the Scrabble Go Facebook page when I'm doing a tip, yes, the YouTube channel. Yeah, I would definitely like, we should talk about that because getting good, fun background music that's appropriate for that purpose is not easy. I have to go into the YouTube creator studio and like listen to a million different uh, tracks to try to figure out, oh, is this is this one that meets our needs? So it would be cool to, it would be very cool to get that. Obviously, we would come up with something that made sense to for, for you to do that. All right. Um, I think, unfortunately, uh, my letters are pretty bad. I'm wondering if I have any better choice than this. It scores 33. I burn my S. It opens up a bunch of bingo lanes, but um i don't really have a great way to score any points outside of this hook and this is kind of why i played duff here it's because when i brick my draw and don't have anything very good at least as long as i can manage to play a six letter word here at least i can um come up with something now let me just not am i missing something to the y or the a or the r i don't think so Am I missing, what would I want to keep here? This? No, I don't think I can. I think I have to play Ruanas here. Um, let's try it. Let's try it. Ooh, all right, I drew a bingo. Is this going to play anywhere? Yes, it will. So at the very least, I will have this prepared. Uh, I, is this a Collins word? Donatari. Donatari, Donatori. I think donatory is a Collins word. Um, yeah, Jake, I think uh, I was aware. I think you've, uh, for somebody whose Twitch name is Jake O Music, not super surprising that you are a composer. Um, plenty of great titles for the, <laughs> nice. Those would be amazing. Yeah, Scrabble theme titles as well. Um, that sounds awesome, frankly. Love to make that happen however we can. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, donator, odorant, tornado, tan, doer. I don't think these really matter that much, so we'll just do donator. Oh boy. Okay. So we draw. We draw the blank here. I'm sure I have something somewhere on the board. Um, have to look. There has to be bingos here. I guess I say that, and maybe there aren't but i'm gonna assume that somewhere on this board is a bingo for me to find um the r looks particularly like how could there not be something to the r over no i don't think it's gonna be that n
This is wrinkling my brain here. I feel like there has to be something. Look how good, how, how low point these letters are. I guess I shouldn't, admit, maybe I shouldn't discount the A. Is there something through the A? Alve, alveoli is not spelt that way. Alveol is a Collins word. Why? Oh my God. This is like, <laughs> don't, don't ruin it. If any of you guys see a bingo here, don't ruin it for me just yet. Ocellate CT. What the heck? How is it possible that there is not? I mean, this is a good play, frankly. If Even if I have a bingo, this is going to be pretty close if it stays open, which I'm sure it won't. I'm sure Scrabbub is going to try to play underneath here if he can. If he can't, playing here for 32, leaving EL blank, is very likely to be roughly as good as any bingo that I have here. But for whatever reason, I'm not seeing it. Let me just... Let me just go into the chat. I'm not going to chat this to him, but I need to see A-E-E-L-L-O-R. G-H-K-L-M-N. Oh, he has the Q and he has to burn it. P-Q-R-S-T. U V. Okay, I don't see it with the R. Let's try the N now. N looks pretty good too. How the heck is there not a bingo here? Just going through the alphabet. I'm trying not to skip any letters. I'm trying to think each letter, just give it a moment's thought for the word to appear in my brain. Oh, okay, so a Collins word. All right, if this was a Collins game, I could play this, but it's not, so I can't. I don't think I have anything here, so I think the best thing I can do is probably play aloe and move on. I'm just going to do this. Let's see if I let's see if I missed anything. So what was my rack? Allo E N. So it was uh How do I do this? It would be A E E L L It was that. Oh yeah. Okay, no N. Right. So it was A E E L L O blank. And I wanted to say N. And I wanted to say R. Okay, well, Jello Mocha is, is, says, says that was it. Oh, wow. Okay, so that looked like, man, did that ever look like it should have bingoed? I guess it didn't. Oh, wait, well, you say the only playable eight. Uh-oh, does that mean I had a playable seven? Is that is that what you're... Is that, did I have a playable bingo somewhere else that I just didn't see? I guess, how would I play a seven on that board? No sevens in NWL either. Huh, okay. Well, all right. Okay, that's nice. I mean, uh, you know, when you're in situations like that, it certainly feels like you're missing stuff and that... I wish, you know, to a certain extent, like I have been practicing, like that for me... At this point in my word studying career, uh, definitely, oh, very nice, availing for 82 for Scrab Bub. Nice play. Uh, unfortunately, I have this. So that's just going to finish things off probably in this game. Had I not had such a good play there, that would have made it possible for the comeback to continue. But uh, I also drew another bingo if it a seven letter word on this rack. Um, so fortunate drawing for me here, but definitely like just to finish what I was saying there, the majority of my misses 
uh, have blanks in them because blanks are just the trickier, the trickiest letter to use. They are the best letter in Scrabble and they are the trickiest to use as well. So they have a very high skill cap. Uh, yes, Jake, that is what the little octothorpe means. Ooh, tis for 63. Pretty nice. So Scrabbub turning the scoring on. He's played a veiling for 82 and tis for 63 on his last two plays. Unfortunately, I had a bingo of my own to sort of keep pace. But if not for that, he would be closing the gap pretty quickly. Um, so I have two places where I think I'm wanting to play something like this. The question is where would I prefer to play it? I think, I think the W and the H are easier to start words from than to end. Certainly the W ends almost nothing. There are a few words that end in H, but not that many. Um, do I not have, maybe there's some play here. So yeah, uh, in order to try to miss fewer bingos with blanks, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if 14 domino is still, is still in the chat, but basic, basically like this is my go-to. Uh, there are practice tests and challenges every day that you can train to see blanks better. Um, and I've been doing that pretty consistently for a while. I used to do it like pathologically every day, several every day. I never did the normal challenges. I only did blanks all day, every day. Um, well, I had, I mean, I had it in my word study, I should say. <laughs> yeah, I did have a, I have maintained a job. I do have a job. Now my job is focused on Scrabble, but I used to have a real job that didn't focus on Scrabble. Um, and uh, in, during my word study time, let's say, I focus pretty, pretty, pretty solely on uh, blank bingo finding because that was the area that I was struggling with. Those were the types of mistakes I was making. So I wanted to focus on that. Um, yes, air show. You got it. Yeah. Chess Bunzo. Did you see that one? You didn't want to ruin it in the chat. Um, I don't think I had a place to play air show, uh, at least not productively. Uh, it doesn't fit here anyway. Um, but yeah, air show an occasion when an air base is open to the public. <laughs> um, yeah, I see. So once I said bingo, that was your guess. Yep, that's it. That was a good guess. Um, so, uh, yeah, what is this thing from Jello Mocha's? Append suffixes such as ish. <laughs> oh, is this, uh, is this from uh, one of the really bad Scrabble advices that Josh and Kenji were uh, mocking? Um, not to, I don't want to mock too hard. I appreciate anybody that's trying to offer their expertise um hey jake yeah just uh jake send me a pri send send wanderer 15 a private message on on twitch do you know how to do that i think you might have to befriend me on twitch um but yeah if you just send me a message or hit me up on on discord um which i think my name on discord is wr anderson one either way whatever is easiest Okay, look at that. Scrabbub plays Hex for 60, so he's piling on the points like a madman. Scrabbub's last three plays, bam, bam, bam. That's a, a pretty solid amount right there, 200 points worth of plays. So I still have a nice lead, but my letters are kind of bad, and I have to be at least a little careful that if he gets a bingo, I could regret um, being you know, lax about this. So... Um, hey, Ross, how are you? Nice to see you, Ross. Um, so let's see. We got to try to... We have a major issue here with this combination of letters here, UVW. We know if you watch this channel or play any Scrabble for any length of time, you're, you're going to know that's not what you were looking for on your rack. Not very many words contain those letters. So how can I manage this situation? Um, always want to try to find an open O for Vro, Vru. Don't think we're going to be able to do that. Uh, this might be a situation where if I have a decent play with Zaz, I should play it just to get the points. 
<laughs> I did a great job. Yeah, part of it is that my um, my drawing tool doesn't extend that far. I actually probably could. Yeah, let's do this. Check this out. You met, you laugh, but now I have developed new capabilities with my Telestrator. How's that, Dustin? Let me. How is that? Hold on. Let me make this absolutely perfect. <clears throat> there you have it. We are getting better all the time, folks. I, you inspire me to be better. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, all right, what to do here? I still haven't really found any play that makes me excited at all. Um, do I have a play ending in ish that uses some of the bad letters, like beerish or something? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, something like this really, I really don't care for this, but I'm having a hard time coming up with any better play. And the nice thing at least is if I draw an E, which is somewhat likely, there's three of the E's, um, I would at least threaten something like Wive up here. So that's not, I mean, as far as plans go, it's not very inspiring, but I'm not seeing anything that makes me any happier than that. So I guess that's what I'll do. Maybe I should play Burrs instead, just because if I play Rubs, it gives the possibility of playing Drubs going down with that E, and Burrs does not do that. So let's just do this. Okay, so I drew... I drew the I, I also drew an A, so I have possibilities up there now. Um, maybe I have something here too, like that score's all right, the Y isn't very good, but at least it's another decent scoring option for me. Rubish with one B, <laughs> yeah. That's the name of a power lifter. Any, any Scrabble fans out there also into power lifting? <laughs> Not that I am. I'm not like I've been. I've been getting more into uh, just you know. I I got a bunch of exercise equipment for my house because I was sort of agitated with going to the gym and people not wearing masks and all of that stuff. And I felt like you know I have enough space actually to have some simple equipment, and it's made me very happy to be able to go down um, to go down into the basement. Put some headphone headphones on and lift heavy things as heavy as I can lift them. Uh, it's something I used to do when I was younger. Um, you know, for those that know me, I have uh, I have um, uh, a chronic illness known as Crohn's disease. And when I mention that, pretty much everybody I mention that to knows somebody or has a family member or friend that also has that. But when I was very young. Um, basically, um, you know, I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease and I went on medicine that, um, is not good for your bones. So basically the thing that I was told was you should try to do bone bearing exercise to offset the risks to your bones of taking this medicine. Um, and, um, I basically really enjoyed the sensation and it's very similar to, any journey of self-improvement that you take, whether it's Scrabble or whatnot, you know, you get a lot of the same goals of you say to yourself, okay, I would like, this is where I'm at now. I would like to get to a better, a better place in some amount of time. And you set your goals and you work towards them. So I've always enjoyed that aspect of it. And it just feels good to lift heavy stuff up and down. Um, all right, let me see. I have to have some out. So, well, you know what? Maybe I don't actually, because Scrabbub has E M N as his final three letters. Uh, that should be pretty easy for him to play. Yeah, he can play Amen and just M E N right here. So I should be just worried about scoring the most that I can and using my high scoring letters wherever I can. I don't think anything else is worth thinking about here. So where can I, 
play my, I would love to play all of these letters if I can. Not sure I can do that though. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, maybe this is fine. Score's 31. I bet there's a better better way to do this. Maybe I'm just supposed to play yaw here, actually. That may this isn't this isn't best because it makes a better place for him to play M E N. So surely does Tai do that too? Not in this lexicon. In Collins it would. Hey Jake, thanks. I'll look forward to that. All right. Cat update. The cat has come off of my lap, which means I get to take the blanket off of my lap, which means I have to unplug my earphones because the static of the blanket ripples into my ear and makes crinkling noises that are very unpleasant. So we do this. We take the blanket off. I feel the static going into my hands, but now I can sit at a nice height again. So, all right, well, despite a furious comeback from Scrabbub here, I do still end victorious in this game um, by a score of 459 to, oh, no, it was different, 451 to 407. Um, but, yeah, I was up by a ton in this game, uh, and Scrabbub did very well to close the gap with a number of really nice plays. Um <laughs> the ads are doxing me. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to set up the ad blocker at some point. For whatever reason, the ads are coming off and on at various points, and this whole this whole screen that I've constructed is a little bit ram. It might look nice, but it's a little bit ramshackle, like on the OBS end. <laughs> so, uh, so the slightest change in anything on my screen throws everything out of whack. Um, so, all right, that was a pretty interesting game. So I'm here, I'm ready. If anybody wants to send me another one, let me take a moment to hydrate myself here. Oh, while we're here and while uh, I open the invitation, oh, there's Dustin. All right, I will accept this from Dustin, but just once again, just want to emphasize this is a really cool week coming up on Twitch. We're here in my normal weekly spot on Tuesday. I believe that Josh will be streaming on Wednesday, not confirmed with him yet. But even if not, for sure, on Thursday night at, uh, I think it's going to be closer to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we have our finals of the Frontier College Scrabble for Literacy, where we have our two finalists uh, who we'll be introducing to you guys on the broadcast, playing alongside Colin Mockery and Deborah McGrath, our two celebrities, very graciously agreeing. Uh, once again, to participate. And of course, Josh Sokol and Chloe Fatsis, our two Scrabble ringers who will also be helping the finalists along with their game. And then, of course, coming up on Friday, we have live coverage of the Canadian Scrabble Classic. I think all is uh, going well for me to be competing in this event. I don't think I'm going to be playing for the actual money. Uh, that's at stake uh, due to conflict of interest, but I should be one of the competitors here, and it's going to be anchored again by Josh Sokol, Axer Typo, on the broadcast. That starts on Friday night. So again, Frontier College, uh, Scrabble for Literacy on Thursday, and Canadian Scrabble Classic all weekend starting Friday night. It's a big week for us on Twitch. So, all right, here we go. It's Dustin. Dustin has been challenging me and Josh repeatedly on stream. He has gotten incredibly close to beating us over time. Will this be the time that Dustin takes down the expert? I don't know. It could be. I have I have a decent rack to start. Hey, Oz Miguel says, Hi, throw home. He's playing Scrabble. Yes, um, for sure. Uh, yeah, Dustin, I should, I've got to get my, um, predictions up. It would be fun to do a prediction, even though, uh, I would like to make it more interesting than like, who's going to win the game. Maybe, maybe give some odds to Dustin for the prediction's sake, but I don't have my dashboard up right now, so it'll have to wait. Um, 
So, all right, it's 15-minute game. Dustin plays Vows. That's funny. I played VAU as my opening move in a game earlier. So it's the second time we've seen that word, and that is, uh, you know, one of these transliterations of the Hebrew alphabet, one of the letters in the Hebrew alphabet that is very, very, very useful. You see that you'll see VAU all the time, and the reason for that is directly linked to why we complain so much about the V and U. Right? Like, why do we see this word all the time? Because there's not a lot of words containing the V and U together, and you got to know them because they show up all the time. Um, so interesting to put the S on. I wonder what if that means that Dustin has another S. Not 100% sure how to interpret that. So the U in this spot makes me want to put the X here, and I can do that by playing axon. I could tack the E on here too, but... This has the benefit of I keep an E potentially to play across here. Of course, the E is the most populous letter in the set, so the odds of Dustin having one of his own are very good. But if I play the E here, it creates this big spot that I really would prefer not to create. Anything like the W, the H, the F, um, the X is in my possession, so I don't have to worry about it. Also, there's not very many words starting with X going down. But any of the four-point consonants that fit here will score a boatload. So I think I would prefer to play Axon. Now, let me just quickly sanity check. Am I missing a possible... I don't think I could be missing a bingo here. So let's do it. Let's play this. See what we get. Um, this looks decent. Mood, moodler. I don't know. Hebrew and Arabic are also good for playing cues. Absolutely. Both of those languages giving the cue every, every little bit of life support that it can get. The cue is just, uh, um, you know, this is, uh, this is my crusade and I, uh, is that I love, so part of why I was so psyched, uh, when Babel Royale came out is that it was teaching tons of new word game players the, that the Q is just this toxic albatross. And for anybody curious, I, I might, I, I still haven't played any Babel Royale since I melted down on my previous stream. It's helped my mental health. Maybe I'll come back to it at some point, but it was just making me very unhappy to play. So if I'm able to come back and play and not be unhappy, then I'll start playing again. I haven't tried yet. Um, but the cue is just so... And I know that newer players look at the cue and say, well, it's worth 10 points, and I don't have to know very many words to use it properly. Um, but it just it just stunts your growth as a player to overvalue the cue any more than you need to. So, um, All right, so it's Dustin's turn. I'm out to a bit of an early lead thanks to my ex. I don't think I have a bingo here. I do have a nice spot for my M, and of course I am poised to play something in this spot, like, you know, loomed or something. Obviously, the board is going to be very different after Dustin's next play, so I'm sure that whatever calculations I make are going to get fouled up. Um, it's not clear that this isn't like the most obvious hook. This could evade Dustin's notice, uh, but this spot is not going to evade his notice. If he has any consonant that fits there, it's very likely to go down. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, really looking forward to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday here. Uh, definitely wanting to, uh, I feel like I've, I'm splitting a lot of time between those two things, Frontier College and the Canadian Scrabble stuff, just trying to get you know the partnership, the details of that ironed out behind the scenes. Okay, there we go. Um, so that does block a lot of stuff for me. <laughs> Critter says, hoping to get some fancy lights and LED room. Yes, very nice. Punny indeed. All right, um, my LED room is not ready. This is not a word, mood, mood leer, or something like that. So this hook got blocked. I 
guess there's still some like, I could play something like this for 34. It's probably better for me to just play something simple here, actually. Um, maybe it's, is it worth me playing this? 32 points leaves just DL. Blocks the board really well. Like the board after this is very difficult to score on. If you just look, it's it's very difficult to overlap here because OI is very inflexible. Not very many letters will go in this spot. Pretty much the only spot that gives anything is a bingo ending here. Other than that, the V out in space is very close. This is like a terrible board for Dustin after that play. Um, alternatively, just playing something like, I mean, just playing something like Doom leaves L-E-R. That's a much better combination for bingoing, although I might actually prefer Loom here just because E-R-D looks like it's even better synergy to play something ending in either E-R or E-D. Also, placing a D in this triple lane, I might get more points I might get a couple more points, literally two more points, by playing Doom here instead of Loom. So I get 26 for Loom, 28 for Doom, but it's easier for Dustin to hit a D if he has an E on his rack by far than an L. It's a lot, tr it's a lot more annoying to hit an L. Um, I guess sometimes maybe he'll have WL and I'll regret it. Other than that, the L in this position is not that great, and the D scores more points anyway. So hitting something to the D is going to, I'm going to give back all of those extra points and then some. So I think, let me calculate this again. Loom for 26, leaving R-E-D, or Romeo for 32, leaving D-L, with a much worse board, a significantly worse board. Um... It's not really my style to play Romeo. I think I'm just going to play Loom and see if I can get the next bingo down, which is kind of what I would like to do. So let's see what happens. Um, mm, don't think so. Acid Ear. Do I have something? So Acid Ear is a Collins only seven letter word. It doesn't fit on the board anyway. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think I managed to hit definitely possible depending on depending on what dustin has if he plays something to this l i might end up there are things that i can hit as a result so definitely bingos eight letter bingos through letters depending on what uh he plays so we'll just have to see the bag is actually just ease now yeah that's you know there that there hasn't been an e played on the board so maybe that should have influenced me to play romeo there just given that uh there's no need to hoard ease if they haven't been played yet necessarily um but you know i didn't i didn't happen to draw one okay pause is the play uh anything from the p i don't think so This might be a tricky, this could be a tricky move. Um, so yeah, this word, not valid. But maybe just like this. Uh, hmm. Something like this. 20 points, leaving an I. I don't I'd rather not leave just an I by itself. I don't think I have a good way to hit this EL. The I, I mean, I, what would I do here? Ariel, leaving this. That's only 15 points. That's nowhere near enough compared to Acid. I think I'm leaning towards Acid right now. If I had the ability to play something like this, I might. Yeah, let's go ahead and play this. Um, I-E-R is not my favorite leave here, especially because, well, now I have this lane. I was kind of, I would like to have a leave that helps me hit this I, and keeping an I is not the way to do that, but I have two I's of my own, so I'm going to have to do something like that. Okay. 
Mm. Not great. I guess uh, I could play this again, leaving the same leave. Um, we'll see. Oh, maybe I have a way. Oh, is it worth playing Ravel? Maybe, actually. That, that could be enough extra points. Keeping these letters together, it's vowel heavy, but it's also very bingo prone if I draw consonants to this leave. A leave like this is very polarized in the sense of if I draw more vowels, it's going to be really weak. If I draw consonants, it's going to bingo a lot of the time. So maybe that's what I would opt to do. Is there any other cool ideas here? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll see what Dustin says. What what he does rather? What he plays? Not sure if he's gonna say anything. Um, he says Hajj. <laughs> okay. Um, this is like a dead spot. I think now with this, I'm definitely going to need to play Vara here. So if, you, if you're not seeing Vara, Rave is a reasonable option. So I think most of us should be able to find Rave in this spot up there. Vara is even, well, Reva would even be an improvement on that, but it's not playable here. Vara is a nice choice just to keep my E, which again, it pairs really well with the R. ER is a nice combination. So let's try this. I think this is probably a decent play. And I still feel, well, this actually took even further away from bingoing, drawing the F and the C together is not a great combination. I guess I could play Ferric if I wanted to. Is there anything up here? How about here? That's not good enough. Yeah, I don't know. There's Unless there's something I'm missing from this A, which I don't believe there is, probably Ferric is going to be my top choice. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up playing. This game, uh, who I, I would be a good prediction to say who's going to get the first bingo here. <laughs> Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do, how do I do this? Hold on a second. I think I have to do it on my Twitch dashboard. And I have to do it quickly because Dustin could bingo at any time. He could bingo at any time. Where is it here? <laughs> Ferric is a metal play. Yes. And, uh, oh, wait, why is it not? manager it's grayed out all of my quick actions for some reason doesn't let me there we go okay so oh my where's my prediction there we go add oh okay he plays not a bingo who will bingo first? Will Dustin? And we'll have it be two. We'll have it be a two-minute submission period. Is it gonna look right? Yes. <laughs> Lou Ferrick, no. Um. Oh yeah, Will Dustin. Yes. A a two a two-word sentence that happens to also be both of our names. Um. All right. Uh, Creel is intriguing. The reason I would do Creel is simply to um, use up one of my R's and use up either my F or my C. If, if anything were a word, I would want to play Freel here, but that's not a word. So we have to, so let's just think about this. Ferric 28 leaves ID. There are still a ton of E's left. Right, we've seen our first handful of E's hit the board, but there's still a lot of them to come. I shouldn't be super scared of using an E or Creel leaving the F. I don't like, the F is just not, the F is, you know, F's in the chat for keeping the F. I think I need to do Ferric here. I think I prefer Ferric. All right. 
Okay, this is it. This is it. Uh, I should close this prediction because if anybody, <laughs> unless Dustin bingos right now or blocks it, right? He could block it, I suppose. Oh, no, he can't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. This prediction, this prediction, oh, I hope Dustin has a bingo. The prediction is going to end. So I have two spots for a bingo from the V here, which it would be very funny. Somebody should put like 10 channel points on Dustin right now just in case he has a bingo because you're going to win them all. Yeah, somebody, oh, very clever. Okay, somebody did do that. So somebody just put 10 channel points on Dustin at a huge, at, a, at an amazing, uh, you know, uh, return on investment if he ends up being correct. Uh, so we'll see. Otherwise, it's definitely. I don't think. I don't think the people who just predicted that I will bingo next stand to make a ton of channel points on this. But at least you'll have the. Uh, at least you will know that you were correct in the poll. So we'll have to see. We will see what happens. So. Um, yeah, vidette. I think that's a boat, I feel like. Isn't a vidette? No, it's a not a boat at all. What am I thinking of? Is it is this? Oh, vidette is, all, is the same thing. There's some word that is like that, but I can't remember what. A mounted sentry stationed to watch for enemy. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Ooh, you know what I just noticed? By putting the C here, I can now play stuff with Axonic. Um, oh, is the channel is the channel point thing still not working? When you've predicted, my bot doesn't let you predict. Oh man! Oh, look at this! Look at this bad boy. So like, that's a Collins word. So the crazy thing is I'm going to play Videttes for a lot of points, but Za is such a clever idea by Dustin. If he has another A, he's going to hammer me in this spot for not that many fewer points than I'm about to score, right? He could get 60 points easy in this spot. So I have to play this. I draw the Q. There's only two more A's. So this, this now becomes... Did Dustin play Za with another A? And are we going to see an A play come down here and just hammer me for an enormous score? Um, hey, WTF, how are you? Hope indeed. Oh, we have to uh, resolve this prediction now. Um, so the prediction outcome, we will choose the outcome. It was me. I kind of want to choose Dustin just for the lols and scam you, but I won't. I won't. No scamming. <laughs> yeah, minus 10. Minus 10. Um, so, all right. That was definitely good. I'm going to assume that based on uh, the fact that Dustin hasn't played a word here yet, he may not have an A. Um, but maybe he's just looking for the best one. Uh, yeah, the only, yeah, so with that rack, um, with that rack, uh, the, the only bingo in that rack, and this is, again, Jeremy, this is just something that I know from studying the dictionary. Um, so the rack that I had was this. Um, so the only solution is a Collins word um, that I just knew from study because I saw that word. And I happen to already know that that's the only anagram in those letters. I could just bypass it. And when I say, like, that's the objective of why do we study words as, like, tournament Scrabble players, it's to be able to spend as little possible time on that sort of task as possible, right? I'm, I'm, I'm looking to minimize the amount of time that I spend thinking about stuff like that and maximizing the amount of time that I spend thinking about strategic considerations and all that, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, um, you know, it's weird to look at a, a really, really nice set of tiles like that and just immediately dismiss them. But that's kind of 
just effort and preparation that allows that to happen. Um, okay, so I have the last S. There is a blank. I'm very tempted to just play cow here. The problem is it takes an L, and there are three Ls as well. So also there are both Ys. So I feel like a lot of the time when I play cow, I get, I get hit with a cowl and, a, and an L-Y play that I regret pretty deeply. So I think I would rather... I would rather not do that. Um, and I think I'm leaning towards playing something like POW here. Um, it keeps the Q, but I don't really see where I'm supposed to play the Q here. I think I just have to wait and hope that a better location to play it emerges or that I draw you or something like that. Um, so let's go with this. Okay, we drew an I, better than nothing. Expand a bit how you study the dictionary. Yes. Uh, oh, toy. Oh, look at that. Nice little insertion of the T in between the S and the E-E-L. That's nice. Um, nice play, Dustin. Um, yeah, so word length, definitely. Oh, wait, is this a word? Ah, right. Is that a Collins word? I had a doubt in it, but I was hoping I was wrong. Um uh okay oh <laughs> oh my god um this is like oh brother <laughs> shoot this might be the only place i can play this oh i hate that i don't love this either i don't love this ugh Ugh, jeez. Uh, this is just so ugly. There are two U's. I guess I'm not that scared of just plopping an I down. If Dustin has an I and he plops Chi down, that's not the end of the world what i am scared of is I, that i might turn a rack with a u on it into a just a bomb in that spot so i don't know <laughs> jeez um this is really unclear how i should be handling this i guess my gut says that it's okay to play this, that enough of the time I still come out all right, whether it be because I draw two vowels and end up bingoing somewhere else. But this this gives me deep reservations about, about playing chi here. Let's do it. It's fine. All right. So um, I drew a bingo that may not... I actually fit on the board. Nice thing is I have this. <laughs> so there's some upside here, but if Dustin has a U, I'm going to regret this, I think. But whatever. I don't I mean it's po it's pointless to think about it that way. Either I stand by the play I made or I don't. Uh in this moment in time. So, um so anyway, Jeremy, to answer your question, basically when you look at the Scrabble tile distribution, you can see that there are patterns, right? The low point letters appear more frequently than the high point letters. So if you were going to study a word list and try to order the words in order of which words you were most likely to pull out of the bag, right? You would start by looking at the letters that appear more often. So you would look at the, certainly, you know, A, E, I, and O appear a lot, 12, 9, 9, 8, respectively. And then you would look at the consonants that appear six times, so R and T, and you would look at the L and D. So any any word that contains, you know, A, E, I, oh, wow. Oh, man, overfit. All right. Anyway, to finish, to finish, this is... Crazy. So overfits, I don't believe is a word. Yep, it's not. Um, Relisted. 
Do I really not have a bingo through any of these? I mean, this is roughly as good as a bingo. I have eyeleted on my rack. D lister is not a word. Relisted. Okay, well, I don't have a ton of time, so I have to just play this and see what happens. So I'm still up by not a ton, though. There's definitely possibilities for Dustin to draw stuff through here and finish me off here. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure if I admit <laughs> oh, what, what happened. Oh, I scored 69. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it dawned on me too late. This is the this is the moment in time where you guys should be asking me, uh, you know, ligma ligma jokes and uh, bofa, because clearly I'm not I'm not picking up Twitch vibes as consistently as usual. Um, what is bofa? I don't know. It's not clear to me. I've never I'm not familiar with that term. WTF? Bofa? What's bofa? I don't understand. Just laid that up out on a tee. <laughs> yeah, Bank of America. That is, that is. I, I have an account with Bank of America. That is their, uh, that's, they couldn't have known. They couldn't have known what they, what they were doing when they did that. All right. Um, this is not a word. This is a word. That's got to be what I'm supposed to do here, unless I miss something much better. Doesn't empty the bag, scores pretty well, closes things off pretty well. This is like a cement, I think. Bitumen, isn't this like a road asphalt? An asphalt of Asia Minor used in ancient times as a cement and mortar. Yes, we got a definition correct. Scrabble player defines word successfully. More, 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 at, more at 11. Um, yeah. So this is... Um, yeah, get extra points. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if only. Oh my God, it would be so revolutionary to the game if you could get like five extra points per turn by defining a word correctly. That would be amazing, actually. That should be a variant. Um, hey, Jeremy. Yes, I did. I did play 20 letters. Uh, I did a test play of it where I got a 12 and an 8, <laughs> I think. Um all right, Dustin plays bat. He leaves himself with only six tiles, so that should do it. He could be, oh, you know what? Oh, my God. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, that's no fun. That's no fun. I didn't even see that I had that. I wriggled out of a jam at the end of that game. That's amazing. I literally did not see that until I just looked at the board in that last, in that last second. What happens if you're wrong? You lose the game. You lose the game. And you have to quit Scrabble. Just kidding. Ooh, hold on. Do I have to bop this? Wait a second. I have the mod view here. How do I do this? Blam! Check me out. I have my mod uh, tab open in a different tab. Um, yeah, GG, Dustin. That was super close. Um, obviously... This game was hanging in the balance for a while. Um, yeah, I'd buy, yeah, buy, buying stuff on there. Um, it's always nice to use the band hammer. Um, but uh, yeah, fifteen minute game is always tough. Obviously, you know, appreciate it because you know it, may, it gives more people an opportunity to play. But uh, I'm certainly not averse, Dustin. If you want to play 25 minute games, we can do that. You know, there's you know, Scrab Bub plays 25 minutes. I think those games go in a pretty good pace. So it's it's your call. Definitely, 15 is is tough. But I mean, before Videttes, it was super close. If you happen to get geekier down, and I didn't have a bingo there, you that was it. That was going to be the turning point of the game. So um, yeah, that was a really close one. But uh, yeah, no, What I don't know what should happen if you're wrong with the definition. I think the fairest thing, how about this, right? How about this? If you get the definition right, you get five extra points. If you get the definition wrong, you lose five points. So, you know, you better, you can still bingo. If you don't know what it means, bingoing is still likely to be the correct play most of the time. Um, 
But uh, if if you're somebody that knows all the definitions, yeah, <laughs> kicking <laughs> kicking a PAT exactly. Yeah, they moved it back, right? The NFL moved the uh, the point after attempts back a little bit. Um, choose not to define it, and then you you don't get extra points or lose points. Okay, that could be, that could be. But that's a fun variant. I feel like it would be fun to have like an over the board variant like that at some point. So, all right, we have another visit from a cat, Little Fitz. He's back. And he's wriggled. He has wriggled his way back onto the desk. Uh, I think I have enough time to play one more, um, probably one more full-sized game, or I can just play bots a little bit. If anybody wants to play a game, let's say a 15-minute one, feel free to send me a request. I will do one more round of plugs for the rest of the week uh, here. So basically, again... Almost done with my weekly show here, if you can call it that, on Twitch for today. I think Josh will be up tomorrow out of his normal Thursday time because, again, on Thursday evening, we're going to have the finals of Scrabble for Literacy. We're going to see celebs. We're going to see Josh and Chloe Fatsis, Scrabble royalty, alongside those celebs with the two finalists who earned their spot in the finals by scoring really, really high games in the week prior on Scrabble Go. So the finals will be played on uh, playscrabble.com right here on this channel at roughly 7.30 p.m. I think, I know it says 7 p.m. Eastern on the left side of the screen. And then the very next day, more over the board Scrabble returning to Twitch uh, at the Canadian Scrabble Classic. More Josh coming to you. He's going to be anchoring the coverage here. Friday night, Saturday all day, Sunday most of the morning. I will be competing in this event, my first over-the-board Scrabble tournament since the pandemic. It's been two years since I played over a physical board in a tournament. So I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys uh, check it out. Watch me play some words. Have some fun. And hear Josh talk about it with a whole cast of characters, apparently, that's going to join him. Um, so, all right. If, uh, if nobody is um, interested to play, we've had a bunch of uh, really good games so far. I'm happy to play a bot a couple of times, but maybe we can do a quick... Uh, no, not a poll. We'll do a prediction. Who, who will win? Who wins? Who wins? Will... Or, or bot, or mm, evil bot. Let's make it easier for you guys to vote for the bot. Uh, okay, there we go. Yes, Zoe the bot. I've called Zoe evil bot. Um, so yeah, I'll play at least one or two games with the bot here to close off the stream. But yeah, well, there's there's gonna be lots more Scrabble coming. Very exciting. There's also going to be, uh, you know, I'm going to be trying to like signal boost these streams however possible. It would be great if we had lots and lots of viewers um, watching all the different events that are coming. It would be great just to show that we're continuing to uh, expand the audience. I think I have a couple tricks up my sleeve to try to get um, as many people as possible uh, to be aware of all this content and to enjoy it and be watching along. But uh, if we can get a nice big number of concurrence, that would make me very happy. So, um, all right. Uh, so I'll let this uh, prediction run a little longer, then I'll start the game. Looks like, uh, looks like some strong opinions about who's going to win. Have to make sure I hydrate here. So, okay. So we'll play the computer. We'll play it on three minutes. I think that's fair. I should be able to beat the Grandmaster on three minutes. Um, yeah, the, yes, the, oh, Zoe, Bing, Zoe on Master still bingos five times in a row. I wonder, I wonder how Master is different from Grandmaster on here. I think that's the trickiest, like, even the, you know, Hasty Bot and the Ste Bot are very tricky to discern the differences and to make 
to make them feel like sometimes the the level down still feels very difficult. So, um, you know, it's totally it's totally good practice, but at the same time, you know, it, it is nice to get some kind of positive reinforcement. Um, hey, thanks, trans man. My pre uh, uh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, I'm happy to definitely don't you know I don't feel tremendous uh, stigma attached to you know having an illness that I worked through or anything like that. I feel pretty. I'm happy to be transparent about that. You know, there's uh, it's it's something where. In the past, I used to be a little more upset about feeling like it was the the most critical thing about me as a person is that I had this illness. But now I feel, you know, in my adulthood with the illness more under control and with other stuff in my life, like, you know, I, I won a Scrabble championship. I'm married and, you know, there's a lots of lots of things have happened that I no longer have to feel like, uh, you know, this illness is like the only thing that's interesting about me. So um, anyway, let's do it, gang. Let's do it. Let's see how we do. Let's, uh, is this going to look correct? Yes, it will. Okay. Now, off to the races. Oh, I did English US instead of Collins. That's fine. I guess I'll just do this and see. Oop, okay. I have Magnesic. Here, that I doubt this is going to get blocked because this F is just like dying to be used by the computer. I can't imagine that's going to get used. Mm, I don't think, I don't even think this is good in Collins, let alone NWL. And I don't think, I definitely don't think this is good. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so Magnesic is going to be my play here, I believe. Nope. <laughs> Got to spell it right. Oh my God. Okay. So I get the first bingo down. Yeah. The cats, obviously. Yes. The main thing, the main thing is the cats for sure. Um, no, obviously I'm very, very fond of these cats and I am in large part, I am in fact defined by my, uh, excessive love of them, which I don't find it excessive. Uh, all right, let's see. An E open in the triple lane looks really tasty. I would love to use both Fs. I don't think I can do that. I think I'm going to just play Perv here. Ooh, that's nice. So things going well so far. Um, the J and the V are what's stopping me from getting a bingo down here. Uh, probably Java is what I would like to spell correctly if I was going to play there um maybe jam 36 actually that's a fair amount more isn't it 36 versus 28 it's eight more points dysuric nice nice play you know i kind of like jam here it doesn't open very much it leaves like for me i'm wanting to hit this s really hard i've got the blank i should be able to hit it with any kind of balanced draw so let's go, let's go for it, and I will hit it. So I have this. Um, maybe, is there something else? Oh, this is one of the classic, one of the classic Scrabble stories of all time. I don't know if I have the ability to tell it. Oh, oh, oh man, big swing, holy crap. So holdouts, the natural, and I think it blocks. Do I have a, oh, that hurts. So, um, okay, let's just play this probably and continue to keep the faith that I'm going to bingo. Maybe I have some, I don't think I have anything better than this. I just don't have time. Okay, now I must have something here. Uh, hmm. This really feels like I should have a bingo somewhere here. I'm not seeing it yet, though. Um, this eye, this eye looks so tempting. 
Well, I'm not seeing it, so we're going to have to move on uh, without a ton of time to work with here. I guess I could play this and score 25. This doesn't, I need to redraw an E pretty much. Oof. Okay, that's not great. It's still close, but I could easily have missed something there. I'm sure you guys are seeing it if I did, but that's okay. That's the nature of three minute blitz. Um, oh, nobody's pointing anything out. That could just be because you're being good viewers and not wanting to spoil the position for me. Okay, that's nice. It's not a very high scoring play. Definitely want to use my V here, if at all possible. Uh, not a ton of time. Play a Vaunt. Oh, I should play it underneath, obviously. Okay, there we go. Now I should definitely have something somewhere. I mean, this. Something ending in N. These are Collins words. All right, let's just play this. Okay, I'm up narrowly. I only have 21 seconds. The computer only, the computer doesn't have very much time. So we'll have to see what it plays. Do I have anything here? I don't think so. Something like this. That leaves only vowels, but it's quite, ooh, quirt. Shoot, that's nice. Um, sure, I need to just block. I just wanna block, oh wow, okay, well, that's gonna be helpful. It's not actually a ton of space to play bingos here, I mean, I. I'll still have stuff like this if I need it. Maybe something through the A, like this. There we go. Okay, there's, there's a couple options for me here for me to get down. Hey, Blastoise. Hey, Gurchy. Gurchy, I was, uh, I just wanted to make a special, special shot. Oh, no. Am I gonna lose? Uh, I don't think so. I think it doesn't have anything here. This looks really good. I didn't think about it long enough. I don't think there's anything here. Um, the bot is going to time out. Yeah, I think it's because I... Oh, no, it didn't. So I need to just finish the game. Oh, it is going to time out because I'm not going to go out on this play, so... Uh, after all that, I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna win on time. But let the record show that I would have won anyway. I would have won anyway. Byob should be a word. By the way. Um, okay, so where to play here? I'm just looking around. I guess Oho is pretty good. And then the computer is gonna go overtime. All right, so theoretically, uh, I still win, uh, even though you can see I had the higher score. Of course, had I had the lower score, I still would have won the game, and that would have made an ethical dilemma of, you know, did I really win for the purposes of the prediction? Um, so, yeah, hey, Gurchy, hey, Blastoise. Uh, Gurchy, I just wanted to shout out that um, I know you had asked in the past you know when when will we be able to play on play scrabble it's now it's now available worldwide so everyone in the world that can access playscrabble.com can now play uh so just wanted to shout that out choose prediction outcome i was the winner uh yes i am sure um so all right uh, it's 5.03, that's typically time to, what is this? Sleep music, yeah, I need to, I need to get the ad blocker up, <laughs> or just figure, figure something out. Um, 
All right, let's play one. Let's play one more. Let's play one more, and call it a stream. We'll call it a stream. It's been a couple hours now. I think it took me a few hours to get set. So we'll play the bot one more time. No prediction needed. Oh boy. Uh, well, you know, this actually has a higher percentage chance of being a correct play to burn that blank, but um, it's not. It's not a, you know, generally you don't see that happen unless the bot is purely going for points. But in this actual scenario, it might be. No, you know what? No, it can't be. Because these letters, he could, so the bot, she, Zoe, could have played cozy, right? So cozy would have scored easily enough points to be worth keeping the blank, depending on what the other letter was. So Zoesha is not the right play, but that's okay. Um, all right. This is is not a word. I, I knew that. I think I've learned that the hard way before. Mm, I don't remember if I have. Um, okay, so what to do? I want to use my Y for sure. Oh, this is the play. That's the play for sure. So a good start for me here, but I'm not up by very much, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> Will you get banned if I use an ad? No, I think somebody told, I think I've been told that I should enable an ad blocker. So um, that's true. No leaves yet. At some point, I am I am confident. At some point, we're going to make that happen with the leaves. Um, but yeah, not not yet, unfortunately. Uh, the, leave, the leaves will help a lot <laughs> to make this thing a little sharper. We all know how scary Hastybot is and how fun Hastybot is in a perverse way. All right, let me not uh, dally here. So Zuisha, I want to play this, but it's very crazy for me. Well, it's not that crazy. Given that the score is roughly even, I need to still continue to be aggressive. So playing this makes sense because it incentivizes Zoe to play here, and I get an S hook if I draw a bingo in that spot. So I think this makes some degree of sense. All right, I'm a little worried that I'm not going to get to play my bingo here. So I have a bingo here. Um, diatines is a Collins word. This is how I actually spell it. Doesn't play here. Okay, Perea in that off the beaten path spot lets me play Cyanites, so that's nice. Ooh. There are for sure seven, uh, eight letter bingos here. Uh, what is the, is there something to, I don't think unmasked, so DI isn't a word in this, but I don't think unmasked is a word anyway. Um, what are the bingos here? Wow, nice. Okay, that's uh, wow. Tie game after all that. Um, so if I could come up with a play here, that would be nice. This would be a really nice play, but I can't do that here. Um, maybe this. That looks very weak. Wow, only 20-something. Maybe mud. Here we go. That's what I should do. Okay. Unless I missed something. I could have missed something, but that looks clearly better than any of the other things I was considering. Then now I have like wrestle. The wrestler. Oh, I had dust. I had dust man. I didn't see that. I have to admit, I did not see I did not see Dustman on my rack. Uh, oh, and now look at this. Uh, I probably shouldn't have played Waddles just because it takes a T hook. Oh, there's only one T left. So, <laughs> Dustin, yeah, Dustman. That's right. We had Dustman on my rack. For some reason, I didn't see it. Uh, so I'm unfortunately I'm pretty sure I would have missed it had I needed to see it. Um, if I'm honest. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I had it and it did play, it would click into place. I don't know. Hard hard to say. I don't think so. Uh, all right, soy. 
I am something of a soy boy, I have to say, so um, don't don't mind seeing that hit the board. Um, probably Bren here. Only 29 seconds left. Sure, let's just do it. Uh-oh. Okay, I am up by a lot, but if the computer bingos here, that that would be bad. I guess I can just keep playing Bren. I, just, I guess I should keep playing Bren until I can't play Bren anymore. That's going to be my strategy. More and more and more Brens. Play Bren challenge. Oh, no. Oh, I can't do anything about it. I really can't do anything except play. I guess I could play Lemon. This is this does not seem smart, though. I don't think Lemon is smart. Opening myself up to crazy triple triples. Um, when really even a bingo to this spot is not going to devastate me most of the time. I'm up by 90. So it would take a very, very heavy bingo with Tame to make me regret that. Ooh, haha. -ha. Ooh, haha. -ha. Okay, let's just do that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, these draws are not great, but at least I'm having them when I'm already winning. And I'm pushing the computer overtime. I'm very soon to go overtime here, but that's okay. I'm probably going to play this just to get that off. Oh, man, look at that. First of all, the, the unseen tiles are insane. There were five eyes a moment ago. I just drew one of them. Somehow I drew another V. Um, this is a very odd series of draws here, but again, I'm the one with the lead, so I can withstand it. I would probably play Anvil next turn. Oop, got blocked. Computer blocking its own, <laughs> computer blocking its own spot. I don't think there's any bingos that I have to worry about here either. So I'll just play Lev. See if I draw a vowel. I did. So there was no prediction on this game, but it looks like I'm going to... Yeah, it may lose on time again, in fact. Um, so, yeah, something something for us to, to work up. Oh. oh, nice. Nice little play there. I need to not lose on time myself, of course. Um, do I have, like, proof? I don't think I have anything that fits there. Uh, I'll play divot. And that lets me play pro, assuming the computer doesn't. Yeah, there's no there's no bingoing out or there's no outplay for the computer. The question is if it blocks this spot here, what did it do? Did it pass? Oh no, my screen froze. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it timed out. Oh, never mind. Okay. Let's see then. I didn't even realize what happened. I won. Okay, cool. Well, this isn't that helpful to see the board. <laughs> um, so that's the thing we're already aware of, that this screen needs to be a little different for reviewing the game afterwards. It's not that helpful to see this tiny, tiny, tiny board. Um, but uh, yes. Uh, yeah, Transman, I say that totally joking. Like, I actually, like, I think I would be identified using that term by people like that. Um, even though I was just talking before about how I like lifting weights and all of that stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I'm totally using that term in, uh, in a sarcastic way to make fun of people that use that term legitimately, who I think are all compensating for something. Um, so, oh no, I didn't, yeah, I didn't interpret it as, as being that. So yeah, I, I think it's just the funniest, I think it's the funniest thing that people use that as, as a pejorative. So, all right, gang, uh, we've gone for our two hours. Let's see if there are any people doing some word related activities on Twitch. Again, I'm not a hundred percent sure, um, what's happening with Josh tomorrow. I think he will be streaming, but I'm not positive. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, it looks like somebody is streaming Babel Royale 
and I'm seeing on the thumbnail, hold on, can I show this? I'm seeing on, look at the thumbnail that I'm seeing. So when I went to see if anybody is streaming Babel Royale, I saw Killed by Scrabble. Isn't that, isn't that relatable? <laughs> so I, I feel like that's a sign. Um, we, well, let's just see. Is there anybody else? Like, I, it probably benefits us to raid a bigger channel, but it's okay. We can do a mix. Um, so we'll, we'll raid uh, Yovitron, who is playing Babel Royale. Uh, and that will be fun for a lot of you folks. Um, literally what just happened to me. <laughs> yeah, so no surprise. Uh, I'm not familiar with this streamer, but he or she is playing Babel Royale, which is a very fun game uh, to watch. And uh, yeah, uh, it's been a good stream. Thank you for those that challenged. And again, just last round of plugs. Um... There will be uh, lots more coming. Again, maybe Josh tomorrow. Definitely Frontier College Finals on Thursday night. And Scrabble coverage, over-the-board coverage, all weekend from the Canadian Scrabble Classic. So it uh, should be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy all of that stuff coming up. And uh, let's go support our babbling friends as they do their best against, <laughs> against Scrabble. So, uh, yeah, very fun game to watch. <laughs> True. Someday I will develop the emotional control to not, uh, to, to accept my fate in some of these word games where uh, clearly there's people who are just on another level. So, um, anyway, till such a time comes, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching and see you soon.